what's up everybody, uh, it's Jules. Uh, welcome back to my studio. I wanted to make a video talking about classical guitar today. Um, I thought it'd be interesting uh, maybe to some of you guys to know a little bit of my classical uh, backstory and also my absolute undying love for Cordoba guitars. This video, before I really kind of get started, is not sponsored by Cordoba, um, but it is sponsored by Sweetwater, which is, uh, Sweetwater actually hooked me up with this beautiful Cordoba C12 Luthier series guitar. So if you guys have any uh, gear uh, that you're thinking about picking up, any instruments, uh, definitely check out the link below. They're like the best. They send you candy. They email you and make sure you're doing all right. They ask you like, hey, what's your next project? Um, before I became affiliated with them in any way, I've always used them and I highly recommend you do so as well. So as for the video, man, I mean, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, this isn't really scripted. I just kind of wanted to go back to my, my roots of just, you know, rambling into a camera, keep it genuine and uh, hope to God that it's watchable in any capacity. So um, classical guitar is something that I actually kind of got into by accident. Uh, I really wanted to uh, take lessons uh, for guitar after probably being self-taught for about seven years or so. And uh, I'd already made a YouTube channel. I'd already been uh, pretty successful at the covers that I'd made while being completely self-taught. But I got to a point where I kind of realized, well, um, I'd love to know some music theory um, and I'd love to learn under a, uh, you know, a formal education plan. I went to a community college in Holyoke, Massachusetts. This must have been 2000, maybe 2011, 2012 or so. And uh, I walked in and they were like, okay, you want to play guitar, jazz or classical? I was like, well, I guess, I mean, I don't know what I expected, I, you know, that they were just going to be like, yeah, you can major in metal guitar. Like, yeah, right. And I thought about it and, you know, I was kind of, uh, it's kind of like, you know, I, I feel like I already play electric guitar. So jazz guitar is like, I could probably figure that out. Um, but the thing that's going to kick my ass the, you know, the most is probably classical guitar. Cause I'd heard all the horror stories of classical guitar teachers that were just, you know, like super ruthless and would really like get dig into your technique and stuff. And that's what I wanted. I wanted somebody to, you know, fix all the, you know, the holes and all, all of my bad habits that I have, uh, picked up by being a self-taught musician. So I chose classical guitar. So I went back and I did my audition with uh, a steel string acoustic guitar. Um, and I played a piece by uh, Sergio Altamira. I think he was with Candy Rat and stuff and he had you know, really cool stuff. Um, so I learned one of his pieces. I'd never done anything finger style. And uh, for s some reason they let me into the school <laughs> because I didn't play it very well. I didn't know anything about music theory at the time. And I just, I, I hoped for the best. Uh, so I ended up studying under one of uh, the greatest classical guitarists alive, which is Philip Defremery. Um, he was one of uh, Andre Segovia's, uh, actually one of the last students of Andre Andre Segovia. Uh, Andre Segovia had many, many students, and he is, he's one of the most prolific classical guitarists of all time. And my teacher was wonderful, taught me so, so much. I really like, um, I had a hard time finding a classical guitar. You know, I'd been playing electric guitar for so long, um, I didn't even know where to start. And I wasn't, I was also not very good at classical guitar at the time, so I didn't know, uh, I didn't even know what I was looking for. So I remember asking some of the students, um, some of the professors, I was like, hey, you know, I have no idea what I want to get for a classical guitar. I'm still using this like Fender tea bucket uh, cutaway acoustic like steel string guitar. And to my surprise, like everybody, you know, everyone had like these different brands. Um, you know, my professors all had like, you know, custom luthier made guitars and stuff. So I was playing a bunch of people's guitars and there was one guitar that I really, really liked. Um, I got a lower, um, like a cheaper model of that guitar and it was not very good. The frets were coming off it like and I was just I was like I was floored like it had a it had like this very custom feel like I wanted something different I wanted like I didn't want to have like I, I wanted to get something like different and unique um and uh this this seemed like the thing but then I got it and I had such a hard time playing it I ended up selling it and I needed a new classical guitar so I remember I went into a guitar center played a bunch of the guitars and they were all they all felt like weird but there was one guitar that felt strangely perfect when i played it the sound that you know i was able to get out of it just because of like i, I guess the way i play um you know whatever was this guitar right here the cordoba c7 now i've been using this for a very long time there's so many dents there's been work done on it i've played i've replaced the machine heads but it's still one of the smoothest guitars i've ever played it's it's uh it ties my uh, Ernie Ball, Music Man Majesty, 
uh, that John Petrucci gave me for my favorite guitar of all time just because of how how much fun it is to play, how it feels, I love it. The thing that struck me um, the most about it was there seems to be some extra room on the fretboard underneath the high E string. It's a little bit easier to kind of like hit one of these and and not do like that, you know, which sounds horrible. Um, you know, uh, I, I found it incredibly comfortable and for the price, it was ridiculous. This is like maybe a $500 guitar, which is like low mid what you'd expect for a guitar. And it was the best guitar in there. It, it beat out for me personally, for the way that I played, um, all of the over a thousand, two thousand dollar classical guitars. Um, I picked it up and ever since it's always been uh, the best classical guitar I've ever played. Everybody that I've recommended this guitar to has also said there's something about the Cordoba. This is weird because I'm not really much of a gear guy. I don't really know a lot of the, spe the, the specifications, um, what specifically makes it so good. I just know that it, it feels it feels the best to me um, and I highly recommend it. Uh, I think a lot of people will ask me, you know, like what kind of a guitar would you recommend I play, you know, when talking about like you know, metal or electric guitars and stuff. And I, I just, I can't recommend anything to people. I always have to say like, go to a store and just like, even if you don't know how to play, just like hold the guitars, find one that like really like speaks to you and go with that one. Like if I tell you get a Schecter or you know, whatever, like, I mean, yeah, that's what works for me, but that might not necessarily work for you. But 100% of the time when I recommend the Cordoba C7 or the C5, I haven't heard one person say, nah, it's not for me. I like, everybody is just like, I love this guitar. As far as classical guitars, if you are in the market for one and don't really know what to do, um, I cannot recommend something from the C series enough. If the Cordoba C7 is out of your price range, the C5 is a little bit cheaper and it, it, it definitely kind of ramps up. What I found, so I mean, it, like huge thanks to Sweetwater for um, hooking me up with the C12. What's interesting about this guitar is um, it's it's harder to play. I find the other guitar way easier to play, but this one sounds way better. Um, the action is much higher. Um, and uh, one of the one of the craziest things, and I'm not really sure why they do this, but there is um, a slight angle to the fretboard. I don't know if it gives more volume or what, but um, it actually gives me a little bit more access to the higher frets. But again, since the action's so high, it's a little bit harder to play, but the sound is a lot um, f uh, fuller. I, I don't really ever have any thwapping of the strings against the uh, the fretboard at all, which is really nice for classical guitar because like I'm all about trying to get like every note to sound as close to like a piano note as, as possible and trying not to get too much like like thwap in there. So yeah, I don't know, man. I just thought I, I, I really wanted to like put this out into the world that like those, if you're looking for a classical guitar, there is something magical about the uh, the Cordoba series. Um, I love it to death. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. I just, I really, I really want to turn people's attention to these guitars because I really, really like them. I think they're very affordable and you wouldn't expect it. Uh, you know, you would walk into a guitar center and you know, if you're, as elitist as I was when I was going to college, uh, thinking like, oh, I want something unique and special. And I don't want, I don't want something like obviously pulled off a factory, which I mean, you know, Cordoba mass produces guitars, um, but they mass produce really good guitars. Um, I, I can't recommend this guitar enough uh, or C7 or the C5, any of the C series, they're all amazing. If you're looking for a, a classical guitar, you want to get into it, I mean, I really hope that I can inspire some people to play classical guitar who might not have otherwise. It's it's honestly um, one of the most relaxing things uh, to de-stress I can do is just pull out some studies from back from school and just kind of jam on them and have fun. I can't recommend, uh, at least if you're a guitarist, giving classical guitar a try. Maybe watch some videos on YouTube and learn how to play some. Uh, definitely some of Vila Lobos' studies. If you are thinking about uh, studying classical guitar yourself um, and don't know what kind of a guitar to get, uh, you should uh, hop on over to Sweetwater and pick yourself up a Cordoba C series. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Um, I love this guitar so much. So anyways, hope I inspired some of you guys who might not uh, otherwise have picked up a classical guitar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I would love to do more videos where I kind of just rant, uh, talk about stuff, um, have fun. I definitely want this channel to be a little bit looser than the main channel. So uh, let me know if that's cool with you guys. And if not, I'm probably gonna do it anyway. But <laughs> thank you guys so much. Again, thank you Sweetwater for helping me get my hands on this absolutely gorgeous guitar. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys soon.